Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Atlanta, Georgia, it's time for Atlanta Business Radio, spotlighting the city's best businesses and the people who lead them. Welcome back to this very special edition of Atlanta Business Radio. This is ATDC Radio Stone Payton here with you. Lee Cantor, my uh, partner in crime, visibly absent. We wish him all the best up there in Chicago with wife Abby and son Max. Max, shout out to you, man. Knock him dead over there at Second City. But this is going to be a fantastic segment. Please join me in welcoming to the broadcast Investor Relations Manager with ATDC, Mr. Brad Schweitzer. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? I am doing well. What have you been up to since we talked to you last? Yeah, so it, uh, it, I guess it's been a few months now. Um, yeah. Been very busy. Lots of companies are, are out trying to raise capital, been helping them you know, figure out the model that they want to go after and, and how much they want to raise and what they want to do with that. And um, you know, the past couple of weeks have really been focused on this week is Venture Atlanta. Lots of oh, investors right. in town. Yeah. Yep. So uh, a lot of meeting schedules. And then, uh, you know, I've been working a lot on this ATDC Venture Showcase in uh, New York and Boston, which is coming up uh, November 12th and 14th. Uh, and so the past few months have really been a lot of work trying to get companies to apply, selecting which companies are going to attend. Um, and identifying investors that would be a good fit to attend this event. It sounds like a lot of logistics are involved in this thing. Right? Yeah. Oh, it is. I it's, mean, I know you're smart and charming and all that, but you also, you got to be, or either have someone on your team that's really good at the organizing. Yeah, it's, it, there's a lot of, uh, detail orient, oriented <laughs> tasks involved that, uh, you know, I, I get my feet wet and, and handle a few of them, but there's, there's definitely somebody else that's kind of, Focus exclusively on the logistics piece. Thank goodness. <laughs> All right. So what does this thing look like? You're going to go on the road with some people in the ATDC ecosystem. You're, you're all headed to New York, Boston. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. So, um, you know, the, so what we're doing is we, the ATDC is taking about 14 companies up to the Northeast to New York and Boston, basically to, Give a quick four minute pitch to a room full of investors and then they will have the chance to meet with multiple different investors, uh, investors in one on one meetings thereafter. So the whole premise is companies get up there. They give a quick pitch just to, you know, get their problem and solution across and, and, and generate a little interest. And then really the entire point is to have these companies be able to chat with investors one on one that they otherwise might n not ever be able to to reach. I will say one thing um that the companies that are attending although this is sponsored by the ATDC and 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 all of our other uh corporate sponsors as well the companies themselves do not have to be ATDC based. So there are a few that th the requirement is you got to be in Georgia. So there's a few companies that um are not, you know, officially part of the ATDC portfolio but were high quality enough that we said, "Hey, let's bring these guys with us as well because we want to showcase Georgia overall." Uh, and how good those companies are. So, and are they spread across several disciplines? Have you got them in? in oh, in the, yes. So, yeah. are, are you allowed to talk about who they are yet? Is that so? I can't say exactly who yet. they are yet, but okay. definitely right. can talk. You know, a little bit on um, industry or vertical and kind of size and, and where the company's at. Um, there's some great stuff there. So, um, you know, we've got companies that are doing fintech uh, plays. Mm -hmm. We've got companies that are doing. Healthcare IT place, um, companies that are just doing your, your general B2B SaaS or, or, or marketing, um, ad And tech. they competed to get to this point or, or there was a selection process? They did. And that's why we can't talk about it just yet. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah exactly. Just, okay, so, just a little bit before. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so the way it worked was, we, you know, um, a month or two ago, we sent out, uh, an email to the community and our community partners and posted on social media, basically saying, Hey, ATDC is, uh, accepting applications to take companies to the Northeast to meet with a bunch of investors. Uh, and so, you know. And that got just a little bit of interest, I suppose. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Actually, <laughs> this, uh, this particular round, we received quite a few applications and the companies were extremely high caliber. It was, it was very nice. tough. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was great to see and, uh, very challenging to, to make the decision. So I think that. People that attend the trip, whether they're investors or companies, are going to see some really, really strong entrepreneurs. 
So um, is it sometimes the case that someone really is strong? You know what your guys are looking at. You've got a good, uh, uh, uneducated crowd that knows what to look for, but maybe they don't have their four minute thing down. Do, do you try to help <laughs> them get that? Man, you, you, you nailed it. Um, that is not uncommon at all. And so, all yes, that. we, we do help, uh, help them nail that down. We have, uh, a few pitch practice sessions, quote unquote, um, that we hold a few weeks before. We are bringing <clears throat> in a, um, an individual who her entire practice is based around crafting a story for investment and pitching purposes. Oh, wow. Um, yes. And so she is going to be extremely valuable. I mean, these companies, in addition to, you know, getting to go to the, the Northeast and, and meet a room of, of curated investors, they get this amazing feedback on their business itself and, and how to craft a pitch that regardless of whatever happens mm. when they go to New York and Boston, they can take the, the learnings from that particular pitch rehearsal experience and use it, you know, for any business they create over the rest of their lives. Yeah, no, that alone. Is, oh, I know. Is just yeah. going through the process, right? Absolutely, absolutely. It's a, uh, it's one, it's one of the great things that the ACDC really does for the community. Because again, like I said, you know, even non ACDC companies that get accepted are able to go through this pitch practice. Very nice. So, what was the impetus for this? Was this a, a, a Brad brainchild? Or <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish I could say that. Actually, uh, it was the brainchild of our assistant director, uh, Jane McCracken. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, she... Um, we love us some Jane McCracken over at Business yeah. Radio X. We think the world of her. Yeah, she's she is incredibly sharp, um, a, a great operator. And so I wasn't here when the <clears throat> the initial decision to come up with this type of, of road trip um, was planned. But my understanding is that it was... It was kind of Jane's brainchild and you know it, the way she was explaining it to me was hey th- this is a pretty simple easy idea you know let's bring some companies out to the west coast and out to New York and Boston and and see if we can get a room of investors to show up and it's really really taken off and and grew into this beast that is a a huge component of what the ATDC has to offer and a huge part of, of my particular role here as the investor relations manager. So um, to get it funded, did you did you get some people who are who are sponsoring other ATDC things to kind of pony up and do this or some new sponsorship or how did that piece work? Yeah, that's that's a good question. So um, a lot of the corporate sponsors that sponsor the ATDC overall mm-hmm. have agreed to pick up a particular section of of this road trip. Oh, that's great. Yeah. It re- well, it speaks to the fact that they're, they are seeing the ROI, the exactly. value of the investment they've already made. Exactly. Yeah. So, and, you know, that's, that give, instills a lot of confidence that what we're doing is actually valuable, that, you know, people are willing to th- and give us money to take these companies up there and, and feed them and, and curate events at – the New York Stock Exchange and, and wow. just do some some really amazing things. Um, so yeah, they get a ton of value out of it as well. Um, it's it's really awesome. I, it's a great event, and I would love to anybody in New York or Boston, or if you just want to fly up there for it and attend and and, and watch these companies pitch. It will be worth your time. You may already be doing this, or you may have someone with this inclination uh, on the team going up there. But it would be so fun uh, as a as a layperson from the outside looking in. If you documented parts of this trip, you know, I don't know if you could get somebody to just take some footage or whatever, but it would be fun to see that. Oh, it, it absolutely would. And so I will say that um, we definitely try. There's, so there's a, a the core ATDC staff members that are attending. There's mm, three, four, five of us. Right. Um, They're going to have their cell phone out the yeah, whole time, yeah, oh, right? Yeah, taking gonna... pictures, <laughs> taking little videos. <laughs> exactly. That kind of yeah. exactly. No, which that would which be great. is great. Oh, yeah. And we'll try and put it on social media. I will say that. Um, you know, usually we're pretty slammed running around, you know, making yeah. sure people are, are signed in or that the AV components are actually mm. working. Um, so sometimes it's hard to capture everything in the moment, but, but we absolutely do our best. Uh, and, and yeah, it really is. I'll make sure that you're included on, on, on some of those. <laughs> I would uh, like, yes, I definitely want to tap in. I would like to just vicariously live this experience yeah. uh, with you guys and, and would love to try to help promote it any way we can, you know, from the business radio X standpoint, but, I think, I mean, what you're doing, I, I, I'm so enamored with the idea in general. Mm-hmm. I'm so impressed with the fact that you can actually pull it off. Cause I know there's a lot of moving parts. There's oh, yeah. lining up the investors. There's lining up the venues. Yeah. There's coordinating with the, with the sponsors. There's working with the companies. 
there are some companies that wanted to go that aren't going to get to go that are very deserving, and we want to support that. We don't want to right. quash that. Right. I mean, I know there's a lot of moving parts, which kind of brings me back to full circle. Uh, talk to me a little bit more about day to day. You know, for for Brad, you know, year round, your your role as this investor relations mm-hmm. manager. What kind of activities are you? engaging in you know in between these fun things right, like this right right well um a lot of what i'm doing is directly correlated to these road trips so mm-hmm. i'm either meeting with companies some of the companies that i've met with are actually going on this road trip and and you know we've met and discussed how much capital should i raise how should i structure my pitch what investors should i target so you know it's it's really exciting when i'm doing things like that and working with a company and then i get to see them Go put it into practice in front of an investor, you know, in New York or Boston, um, and, and see that, hey, they wanted to meet this person. So they, they rehearsed and, and got everything in order. And I was there to help them. And, and now they've got the meeting and, you know, hopefully they get a follow up and, and, and get an investment. And so work with the companies a lot. And then I also spend a lot of my time chatting with, uh, different investors, venture capitalists, which <laughs> is super important because, you know, I, I, I can go and meet face to face with, uh, investors here in Atlanta, but if I want to get the attention of an investor from the, from the coast or, or, or New York to be interested or even look at an Atlanta company I send them, I need to talk to them first and, and figure out what they're interested in and, and give them uh, a little bit of, uh, information on the ATDC so that they can feel confident that, hey, if this, if Brad's going to send me this company, you know, not only has it met ATDC's criteria, you know, Brad has looked at it himself and, and he's comfortable mm-hmm. that at least, you know, at least there's a sound business involved, whether or not they, you know, will invest. But I you personally, know. and ATDC, but you personally, you enjoy that credibility with this investor. Crowd, oh, absolutely. Which is incredibly invaluable to the companies here. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and that's one of the things that I've got to, I've got to be, cognizant of when making these introductions is you know if i send if i send one, one or two uh companies that you know just are 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 not are not uh ready that reflects That's poorly on, on me yeah exactly. and, really, and 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 that impedes all people yeah, after that right? exactly exactly yeah, yeah. Wow, what a responsibility yeah now you're making me nervous <laughs> <laughs> well i'm fascinated with this whole world me and my business partner we've built up this pretty good little business we've bootstrapped it um and i don't know there may come a time where we need and want to, to to try to scale it, we may need to go get money. Right. It strikes me as it, it seems like it could very quickly become a full time job <laughs> in and of itself. Right. Yeah. It, it absolutely could. Um. I mean, yeah. There there are definitely people out there that kind of play the, um. Hey, I'll help you raise capital and take you know one percent or or whatever it may be of the of the capital raise. Mm-hmm. Um. But I think that. You know, they they are specifically helping companies just kind of find investors. The the beauty of of my role here at the ATDC and 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 you know to get paid by the organization to do this is that I'm able to to spend a lot of time with these companies and not necessarily worry about you know mm. the return that I personally get on it. You right. know, the satisfaction right. and return I get is when I make an introduction to this company to an investor, and next thing you know, six months down the road, they've got funding. Right? Uh, that's <laughs> that's. Excited. That's got to feel great. You must sleep yeah. really well at, <laughs> at night. Yeah, definitely. Sometimes, sometimes. I so, do. what is your backstory? How did you land in this kind of role? Yeah, uh, good question. So, let's see. I I am from St. Louis, Missouri. I moved down to Atlanta about nine years ago. Uh, went to grad school at Emory University. I got a joint uh, JD MBA. <clears throat> Went and practiced venture capital law for where a firm here in town called Morris Manning and Martin. Uh, Some of us have heard that little yep, firm. <laughs> yep, it's a great firm. Worked with a lot of great guys. Learned uh, a ton of stuff. Um, you know, worked with startups. Worked with <clears throat> investors. Did M and A, private equity, venture capital. Good experience. Learned a lot. Met a lot of great people. But realized I didn't <clears throat> want to be a law firm lawyer the rest the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. Uh, so left and, and then un- ended up joining a, uh, a startup on, on, of my own. Uh, we did data mm-hmm. capture and analytics and clinical trials. Uh, so, you know, I jumped into the healthcare space, which is a story for another Not day. Not for the faint of heart. <laughs> yeah. Right? It was, uh, I, I have a lot of respect for people that go into that space. Um, but yeah, so w- we built out a product to basically help automate uh, data collection and clinical trials and, and reduce the inaccuracies and, and invalidities that 
often come from that process. Uh, and we ended up selling the technology off to an acquirer on the West Coast last summer. Um, oh, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And then, um, you know, I spent some time working for the acquirer and then this role at the ATDC kind of fell into my lap. I was just having lunch with my predecessor and he was like, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. You know, I think you'd be a good fit. And, uh, from my perspective, Having a stable paycheck sounded pretty good for once, um, <laughs> you <bet>. know, <laughs> and uh, just the ability to to give back and, and reacquaint myself with the community is kind of what I was looking for, um, you know, to share all of my failures in the hopes that others can avoid at least avoid those. Uh, that, that's something that I get a lot of joy out of, uh, especially seeing when they do something that that is successful. So what's next for you and your department and, and how can we help? Good question. Good question. Well, so. Um, you know, with respect to me, I'll still be, I'm still going to be here at the ATDC, um, for, for, you know, for the next year or so. And, um, taking the, taking the, uh, the companies up to Boston and New York is definitely the priority for, for me over the next month in November. Mm -hmm. We, and then we do a very similar things, uh, in the spring where we will take companies out to Silicon Valley and San Francisco. So maybe we'll chat again then. Yeah. And for, for anybody listening, uh, you know, Definitely be on the lookout for um, an invitation to submit an application for the ATDC's West Coast Venture Showcase. But that's a uh, to be continued. Um, and yeah, you know, really the the goal is just to get as many eyes on the ATDC as possible, particularly for me from the um, investment community outside the state of Georgia. Well, I'll tell you what might be fun, and this is just our little way of trying to contribute. Maybe when you get back with your group, mm-hmm. uh, either down here or up at one of the Atlanta area studios, yeah. it might be fun to do sort of a recap. I love that with idea. The companies and just talk about the experience I, that might help you with sponsorship down the road. But even that's it, a great. I idea. just think it would be nice. I know for me, if I've had a really uh, productive experience to to recap, it sort of solidifies um, some of the learnings. From that, so a- we'll make that happen if yes, you like. Yes, please, please. Uh, I would love to do that, and you know, I'd love to come check out your studio as well. That's, yeah. uh, that'd be exciting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, thanks so much for sharing your story and coming here with, and, and visiting. Keep up the good work. Please do keep us posted. We just uh, we think the world of what you're doing. We think the world of ATC, ATDC in general. And uh, we just think you're doing a marvelous job, man. We want to support you any way we can. Well, I, I really appreciate that, and, and the feeling is mutual. So uh, I We'll definitely chat again. All right. We will be back in a few from ATDC Radio.